Hey there. In this video, I thought I'd take some time and talk about a feature that kind of gets overlooked in TickTick. Um, I don't see a lot of people talking about it online, and I also don't use it very often and sometimes just forget about it. And that is the sticky note feature. Now the sticky note feature is only available on the desktop apps, so it's not available on mobile at all. But it does provide you a kind of unique way of arranging and rearranging your tasks on your desktop, especially if you're uh, maybe working on a project and you have some notes and you have some tasks and you kind of want to just spread it across your screen. Let's take a look at the sticky note feature. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so jumping in here to Tick Tick, let's start with just the basics. And I'm in my inbox right now and I'm just going to add a task. All right, so this is your basic task. Now you can right click on this task and down at the bottom you see open as sticky note. So that's going to allow you to open that task as a sticky note. And you can move this around your screen, you can move it anywhere. Uh, you know, you can even minimize Tick Tick here and the task stays up. Now within the sticky note, you can also add dates and reminders. So I can say this is due uh, on Friday. Set me a reminder for one day early. And now that's part of the task. Uh, I can also add task descriptions in here. And everything we do in the sticky note is also reflected within Tick Tick. So let me reopen up Tick Tick here, pull up the task. You can see my due date is on here along with my task description. So everything we do within the sticky note is reflected in Tick Tick. Now, when I pulled up Tick Tick, I lost my sticky note. It's hiding behind this window. But what if we wanted to always have this sticky note on top? Well, there's some small icons and they're very hard to see, but up in the upper right, there is a pin and it's the middle icon. It says pin or you can press the F12 key. So if I hit the pin button, this is different than pinning a task over here within Tick Tick. So this functionality is slightly different, even though the terminology is the same. So here within the sticky note, a pin means pin it to the top of everything. So now if I try to drag my Tick Tick screen, the sticky note stays on top. Now if I unpin it, the sticky note falls to the bottom. All right, so also up at the upper right, there is another icon, and that is for color. And it looks like yellow is the only free color. The other colors are available for premium users, but you can switch it to green, uh, purple, black. That's interesting. Uh, but yellow is good for me. And then down at the lower right is a more menu. So if I hit the more menu, I can add another sticky note. So let's go ahead and add a second sticky note. You can see it falls right down here. And you'll also see at the same time that a new task was created within Tick Tick. Let's go ahead and give this sticky note a title. All right, so let's take a look at what else is in the more menu on the sticky note. We can mark it done, and that's gonna mark the task complete in Tick Tick. We can arrange by, and I think this is a cool feature, we can arrange them at the top, the left, or the right. So maybe for instance, you want to arrange these all to the right and it kind of puts them nicely over to the right side. We could also do the same, uh, you know, over to the, to the left side and it will take them over there and arrange them nicely for you. So that's kind of a nice feature. Uh, going down the more menu, we can start focus, you know, start a Pomodoro timer based on this task. We can open in the main window. So down below you see my Tick Tick has the new task open, but if I want to open second task, I can just click this open main window and it takes me right to that second task, no matter where it is in Tick Tick actually. So even though I'm looking at my inbox, if it was in a different list or somewhere else, it would find that task and open it for me. All right, and we also have settings. So this will bring up uh, the settings from the app and there is a category within settings called sticky note. And so this is going to allow you to change a few things. So up at the top, we can change the color again, the default color. 
uh, the opacity, so if you want them to be a little more see-through, uh, the font size, how big you want it, small, normal, large, or extra large. Uh, pin by default. So remember that pin functionality I just showed you where you can pin it and it will always stay on top of all the other windows. So you can have that as the default. Uh, you can choose to not show it in the taskbar. So this is an interesting one and I'm going to need to switch to my other monitor to show you what exactly this does. So let me drag this over to my other monitor here and then let me flip my recording over to the other monitor. All right, so down here on my taskbar, you can see I have Tick Tick as one of my apps. And if I hover over it, I have three windows. I have my main Tick Tick app, as well as my two sticky notes. Now, if I go up and open up the settings again, and choose the not show in the taskbar option, turn that on. Now, if I go back and hover over it, I no longer have the two sticky notes as options for windows. So I'm only seeing the main tick tick window when that option is on. All right, let me switch back over to my other screen. All right, so the other options we have are restore default size and that says, if enabled, sticky notes will restore to their default size when arranging. And so basically what that means is, let me turn that on. If I change the size of these sticky notes, which you can do just by you know, dragging the sides of them or dragging a corner and moving them around, and then if I go back and say, arrange these to the left, it's going to reset them to the default size. All right, so that's cool. And I think there was one more option here in the settings, and that is the default grid spacing. So, so there is a bit of spacing that's set between the sticky notes, and you can change whether you want that to be larger or smaller. And so we could have it as extra large and see what that does. I don't know if you can kind of see this, but the sticky notes snap to a grid. Um, and all that option does is increase or decrease the amount of space that's in that grid. All right, so that covers all of the sticky note settings and pretty much all of the more menu as well, except for the delete option, which is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, delete's going to delete the note as well as delete the task within tick tick. Um, speaking of that, one thing I wanted to point out is these don't necessarily have to be tasks. They can also be notes. So let me just add a note here. So I've added a task, which I'm now going to right click and convert to note and then say open as a sticky note. This note as a sticky note behaves pretty much the same way that a task does, except for the things that we would kind of expect. So there's no due date, but you can set a reminder. And also there's no option to mark it as done because we don't mark notes as done in Tick Tick. So uh, those are the only two differences that I can tell. So let me add that over here to this side as well. So besides adding a new task within Tick Tick and then right clicking on it and clicking open as a sticky note, if you really like using sticky notes, there's another way to create sticky notes. And I would suggest using that way if you really like using this functionality. And so that second option is creating a sticky note by using a keyboard shortcut. So to do that, we have to set the keyboard shortcut in the settings. So open up settings, go down here to shortcuts and scroll down to the global action. And here we see new sticky note and there's no keyboard shortcut by default. So we have to add that. So I'm going to click set shortcut and I'm gonna try Alt S. It looks like Alt S works. And so now, no matter where I'm at, if I hit Alt S, that's opening a new sticky note. Ah, it added my number three as a tag. So that's another functionality that you can do within sticky notes. I didn't uh, think about that one, but you can also add tags in here, it looks like. So, you know, I could add this as a note. I could add this as uh, for guitars, you know, whatever tags you have but also you can create a tag like you just saw me create the tag for three. Uh, but anyways, I can open up another sticky note by hitting Alt S. And so now this is sticky note four. And so I think that's a really good way. If you're using sticky notes, you're probably gonna wanna set that up rather than having to go create the task within Tick Tick and then converting it to a sticky note. And then the other keyboard shortcut that you might be interested in, if you saw it down here, is the show hide all stickies. So let's set that shortcut as well. Uh, I'm gonna pick Alt D. 
And so now I'm going to exit out of my settings and kind of minimize tick tick here. And so now if I press Alt D, it takes away all of my sticky notes. You know, so if I'm sharing my screen with somebody and I don't want them to see all of my notes that I have, I might press Alt D real quick, uh, which is the keyboard shortcut I just set to hide all of my sticky notes. And then once I'm done sharing my screen, I just hit Alt D again and bring them all back. One use of sticky notes that I've been thinking about is if you have a project, you know, something that you're working on where you have a lot of different tasks and a lot of different notes, and you might use a screen to kind of spread out your sticky notes, spread out your tasks, your notes on that specific project. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the settings. I want to shut off this restore default size because I like um, if I change the size of a note to leave it as that size. And I'm going to exit out of this. And so let's just say, for example, that I have, um, you know, some notes going on with my, with my project. So I'm just going to rename this. And another thing you can do is you can double click on the, on the top of the note and it takes it down to like a single line. So I'm going to put my task over here. This one is task two. Now, the one thing I haven't been able to figure out is when I create a new sticky note, it creates it as a task. And if I want it to be a note, uh, I can't figure out how to change that within the sticky note itself. So I have to go over to tick tick and change it to a note. And so this one is going to be a note. That's the new task I just created. So anyways, I wanted to kind of show you that you can use this and it gives you an opportunity to arrange things on your screen in a way that you just can't do with Tick Tick or really any other app. Um, you know, I really like using the Kanban view a lot of times because it kind of spreads information across the screen. You can categorize by different topics or whatever the case may be. But the sticky note functionality really gives you, uh, really gives you more ability to uh, be creative with how you're viewing your particular notes and tasks. So again, I think this would be really useful for a, if you had a specific project that you're working on, um, you can have your sticky notes up. Again, you don't need to close them if something comes up, just hit your uh, keyboard shortcut, minus Alt D, hide them all. Uh, so anyways, I just thought it might be a good idea to cover sticky notes again in a little more detail because I think it is functionality that often gets overlooked that Tick Tick has that, you know, a lot of other apps don't have this sort of uh, functionality. So leave a comment. Do you happen to use the sticky note feature within Tick Tick? Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.